And up next here tonight, a day we have longed to see a medical breakthrough for paralyzed patients gaining the ability to move again. Experts so excited about the new approach, one said, quote, spinal cord injuries may no longer be a lifelong sentence of paralysis. ABC's Paula Ferris now on this new reason to hope tonight. Kent was paralyzed from the chest down in 2009. You're doing chin-ups. Yep. Rob, who had a future in Major League Baseball, was told he'd never walk again. Side to side. And a motorcycle accident left Drew a quadriplegic. Like, I'm giving it voltage right now. Okay. And I'm, when I can tap into it, I can think about it and pull it off. These are the faces of a breakthrough. And it's all because of a stimulator implanted in their bodies, controlled by a remote. Take away that remote. So the device is off. Try to lift up your leg. <sighs> These men, part of a cutting edge experiment, have even stood up. The first time you were able to stand up, what was that like? Uh, I just felt incredible because, I, you know, you, you've been in your chair for like two years, you know, and you forget how tall you are. You know, you stand up, you're like, wow, <laughs> this is amazing. You know, like I feel like King Kong right now. Emotional. Yeah. You I'm know, because, you know, it's something... You no, know, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Experts tonight saying there's never been anything like this, calling it groundbreaking. The ability to feel hot, cold, uh, sharp, dull, even something as simple as the breeze against my legs on the on a nice day. Here's how it works. A spinal injury disrupts the communication from the brain to the legs. This device works by sending signals into the injured spine, helping the brain's weak signal travel to the spine, then onto the legs. Tonight we celebrate a remarkable breakthrough in spinal cord injuries. And to present this award, we have some very special guests. It was the dream captured in this famous commercial with the late Christopher Reeve. It's his foundation that helped fund researchers from both the University of Louisville and UCLA who say it's groundbreaking for the 1.2 million Americans who lack control of their limbs. In the future, so many amazing things will happen in the world. Wow, so you just did six chin-ups. Yeah. And that future is now. How much hope do you have? I don't think there's like a word to cap how much hope. I mean, tons. Now, more research does need to be done, but this study provides hope, as you just heard, for those affected that recovery is possible even years after their injuries. Diane, it's been a great deal with these gentlemen today. They say this is nothing short of a miracle. All of them fully expect to walk again. And I love what he said about feeling the breeze against the his legs. So what's next? Uh, what's next? They've invited four more patients to the study, but so far, nothing but success. All right, Paula Ferris. Oh. How we're hoping with them tonight.